okay? Good afternoon, good evening. If you're overseas somewhere, it could be good night, whatever. I remember when I was in uh, in the desert and I call at night, 11 at night, it'll be 11 or 10, whatever time in the morning, afternoon, whatever. So, but hey, welcome to the second episode of Vet Speaks. I'm your host, Specialist Sherm, Army. Ah, you see how we do? Um, I had, I, I was doing some research and looking up different kinds of uh, information and stuff like that. And so, I was kind of like, man, I got so much stuff, I had to, might as well come back and do it. Some of the stuff is going to be expiring soon too, so you might want to um, check into it. The first thing is, we got a couple of... Um, Functions coming up. We got the uh, we got a law firm, right? Well, it's a contest, not a function. You got a law firm that you could send a 600-page essay, word essay, about the service member or whatever that you know in your area or whatever the case. Um, and it's called. You send them a 600 word essay and you win $1,000 for first place and $500 for second place, right? All you gotta do is write an essay and name somebody or whatever, your father, whoever, whatever. And the, the name of the joint is, boom, I'm gonna hold it up. Boom, we're gonna do it like that. That's an E R E I S S at. Consult Web email.com. There you go. E-R-E-I-S-S -S at consultweb hyphen email.com. And you send um send them a little letter or whatever and maybe you win some money. Then they got another contest. This was for grades one through twelve. I guess your children or whatever, you know, um it's an essay, and it's on the YMCA site. You can win either an iPod or an iPad. They have a, a annual art contest and an essay contest. So for that one, it's two separate contests going on at the same time. You know what I mean? Um, boom. They got, this week was national, or this week is national salute to veteran patience week. The National Salute to Veterans Patients Week. So I guess it's the vet, the patients at the Veterans Hospital, the VA, and that's from February 10th to February 15th. So you know, say hey, you know, <clears throat> you know, hey, something reach out to somebody in the hospital, or whatever, a vet, you know, you know, or whatever, like that, right? Then we got they just passed a a program through the VA hospital. If you have a medical appointment or something like that and you have a child, I think now the same way they used to give you gas mileage and they're gonna send you a check for gas mileage, I think that if they don't have a medical, I mean not a medical, a daycare facility in the VA to watch a child for you, I think they're gonna send, they said, um, you know, they'll be sending checks or helping out with the cost. I don't know how much it is. You know, they're going to come up with one of their wild little calculating uh, figures, like how they do the ratings. <laughs> but, <clears throat> excuse me. Then we have the National Wheelchair Games, right? The National Wheelchair Games is from July 11th to the 16th and it's going to be held this year in Louisville, Kentucky, right? And but you register for it from January seventh to April fifteenth. So you can go online, you can register, and I guess they, you know, they've been put getting a big push. Maybe they don't have as many entrants this year as they would like, or they just want everybody make sure everybody knows so everybody got the opportunity. But hey, I'm putting it out there too. You can register the 7th to the April 15th, 
and it's from the 11th to the 16th July in Louisville, Kentucky. Right? Yeah, I wrote. Yeah, I wrote that down at the end. They passed a bill to provide subsidies, I guess, monies for vets for child care during some medical appointments. That's how they worded it. So, <clears throat> man, I'm losing my voice. Talk too much, huh? Oh, here's another thing. They got when you get your VA claim, right? Whenever they grant you your effective date, right? Even if they give it to you in, say, 2020, and they make your effective date 2016, right? Listen to this. When they start that 12-year window for your, your voc rehabilitation, because they say you got 12 years to use it, they not going to go from 2020. They not so, don't, don't, they going to go from the effective date. So you'll sit and go, oh, I got the 2032, and it'll be like, no, you got like eight more years because they going from when they, they started. I know it's crazy. You end up getting cheated out of years that you never even had. You can't get them years back to sit and decide if you wanted to, what you want to do. But that's how they work. I know because they got me with that. Word. By the time I came back, it was like, oh, ooh, ooh. I said, but hey, I didn't even know. And she pulled out a big stick, thick file like this, my file, and and after about 20 minutes, basically said no. <laughs> you know, they're going to give you the, the big, you, you want the big version of the no, or you want the small version of the no. It's still going to be no. So I guess it depends on what version of the no you want to hear. Me, I like the short version. You ain't got to talk me to death. No, man, get out of here. Save, save all the other stuff. You know what I mean? Is it something I could do? If it ain't, then what do we, we got to talk about? You know? So I had that down. And then, so, oh. I looked up some, some interesting information as far as states for vets to live in. Which was kind of, you know, I guess. So the best states for mortgage rates and mortgages, excuse me, for veterans is Wyoming, Nebraska, North Dakota, Maine, Montana, South Carolina. They said the best state as far as education benefits and all that for veterans is California. Now. Then they said as far as retiring and stuff like that, this is the top 10. Top 10 is Florida, Virginia, New Hampshire, Alabama, South Carolina, Maine, South Dakota, Alaska, Idaho, and Texas. Those is the top 10 states as far as, you know, the, I guess all around veterans, the hospitals, they taking a, your quality of life, I guess. They saying that's the best place where you're going to have the best qualities of life. Me, I'm in North Carolina, so I was like, yo, we, we up there. I know we in the top 10. Nope. North Carolina came in at 21. Not bad. Middle of the pack. Eh, so that's, that's, oh, that's okay. 21, middle of the pack. Not technically, but middle of the pack. Georgia was 22nd. Now, here's the funny thing. Even though California education is the best, they got California here as 36th as far as living. And then New York City, my home state, they 46. So, yeah, that's why I ain't even in New York. They can have that. They can have that mess. Right? So, I looked at that. Boom. Oh, so here was something else that happened. So last time when I did the show, right, I was showing y'all this guy, the DMVA, right, the resource guy. Now, in every state, they not, they not this. So, and I was looking it up, and so in every state, it's a different name. So it ain't going to call it the resource guy. So like in Virginia, it's the vet resource guy. Florida, it was the... Veterans benefit guide. So each state is going to be different. So in your state, they're going to have one of these books, if not a book like this, a pamphlet or something, and then it'll have all of the things in your state. Because like I said, every state is different. 
So you're not going to get the same things, you know, it's going to be similar, but not necessarily the same. Oh, and this was really what I wanted to start off with, but I was like, I'm going to take it easy on them. Because, you know, going by the commercial, maybe they do help some people. Maybe they do help some people. But, um, USS, USAA, there you go, USA, with the commercials, oh, they called me Sergeant Major on the phone, and they were so helpful and wonderful when I, when I called them, they, ooh. So I saw the commercial too. And I was like, mm, let me call them. So after a three-day process and all of that and verifying and me faxing documents to them and everything and all that, I'm like, yeah, I finally get to the savings. Yeah, let's do it. Car insurance, house insurance for the year here was eight and change. House insurance for them was going to be 1800 and change. I said, time out, bro. What gives? What happened to the USAA thing? We was, I saw the commercial. What happened? Well, you know, in your state, the, you know, we can't underbid individual states because that's not fair for us to come through and swoop down in each state. So in a particular state, we can't underbid them. We could just give you a flat fee for what we do all across the globe. So, or pretty much, that's how I explained it to me. So, in my state, it's not no benefit for me to use USAA. Because my house insurance was $1,000 more a year with them. And my car insurance, when I checked into that, I was paying, I think I was paying... 300 every six months like 340 and they was talking like five and change or something like that so all around it was a, a wash and so i wanted to make sure i put that out there that yo ussa check into the insurance companies in your state right net right around the corner from your house they probably going to be cheaper most of the time unless you live in a state like new york where they just crazy you know, they be wanting like an arm a month for a lead, I mean, an arm for insurance, full coverage. If you want to take an arm a month, $700, $800. They crazy out there. So, but yeah. Oh, and I had one other. Before, I was like, I wasn't going to do the USA story. But then I talked to another vet. And this is what she told me happened to her. She said, I got USAA and I paid 90 Five dollars a month for full coverage insurance. I was like, shoot, that's good. Ninety-five dollars. She said, but yeah, after a year, it went up to a hundred and sixty-eight dollars a month. I said, what? How I do that? She said because they told me that I put a deposit down the first time because I put a deposit down the first time that made the whole monthly bill lower. I said, what? She said, yeah. So I said, you got to be kidding me. So definitely, that's a tremendous, that's almost like what? A 50% jump? Come on, that's crazy. So, but yeah, so look into your stuff because it's a lot of um, these companies out here that say they got our best interests at heart and stuff like that, and they really don't. Excuse me. Sorry about that. But yeah, so um, so check into that for sure. Make sure you check into those things, right? And um, another thing I wanted to end with is I looked up all of the wars that the United States have been in since, you know, going back to the American, the American um, Revolutionary War, the... Uh, the Indians War, Mexicans, Civil, Civil, Spanish, all of that, and looking at the amount of deaths that took place during all of these conflicts. And, you know, I got totals and all of that stuff. And I didn't I, I you know, I was gonna read numbers and things like that off, but that that's 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 a little bit extra or whatever. But you know, the bottom line is that Throughout the years, man, it was a total of 
41, almost 42 million service men and women that, that serve. 41, 42 million. That's a lot of people. And out of that, it was like less than 700,000 battle deaths all together. So that's not bad. That's not bad. You know what I mean? And, and you know, it's part of battle. You know, you don't want that, but that's part of battle. We don't want to think about it, but it's part of battle. I say all that to say is, man, the military changed my life, man. It, it kind of shaped who I am. It shaped kind of the, um, it shaped my character and what I stand for and what I won't, won't tolerate certain things. That's just the way it is. And, um. So yeah, so I wanted to come to y'all and bring y'all this show and give y'all some of this good information. And you know, so I'm gonna make sure whenever I have one of these that I got something interesting for y'all or some, something helpful. I'm still here. You wanna send emails? Um, breaking bread 92 at gmail.com. There you go. Breaking with not without the G. Breaking bread 92 at gmail.com. There you go. That's the email address. Yo, thanks again. I appreciate y'all, man. Love.